you think of a saint, word saint, what comes to your mind? Do you think of someone who is perfect? Someone who, who is very religious? Someone who is like Mother Teresa? I'm going to read two verses. First verse is going to be in Mosiah chapter 4 verse 1. And then we'll read verse 2 and then I will explain how these two verses gives us a much in-depth definition of what is a true saint. Right? So verse 1 says, And it came to pass that when King Benjamin had made an end of speaking the words which had been delivered unto him by the angel of the Lord. Okay, So King Benjamin was teaching the people, teaching the, the people the things that were taught to him by an angel of the Lord. He taught the people and this is how the people reacted to the message. It says that he cast his eyes round about on the multitude. And behold, they had fallen to the earth. For the fear of the Lord had come upon them. So when he looked around, people had fallen to the earth because the fear of the Lord had come upon them. Okay, You know the fear of the Lord when you feel guilty, when you feel bad about something you did. And they had viewed themselves in their own carnal state. So they saw themselves as bad people. Do you think a saint is someone who looks at themselves and say, I'm perfect, I do everything right? Or is a saint someone who looks at themselves and say, I'm a bad person. And they have this, this fear of God in their hearts where they understand they are bad and they need to try harder to be better. Even less than the dust of the earth. So that's how they saw themselves. And they all cried aloud with one voice saying, Oh, have mercy. Why would they ask for mercy? Mercy is asking for forgiveness that you don't deserve. They viewed themselves less than the dust of the earth. They viewed themselves in, in their own carnal state, in their own evil state. That's why they were able to ask for mercy, for, for forgiveness that they knew and understood that they don't deserve. In blood of Christ that we may receive forgiveness of our sins. So they understood that to receive forgiveness of their sins, they need mercy. They need the atoning blood of Jesus Christ. Right? They need the blood of Jesus Christ, which is the agent that will bring about forgiveness, not their own act. And our hearts may be purified. I love that part. They say their hearts may be purified because they see themselves in their own carnal state. They see themselves as being evil. And they understand that only the blood of Jesus Christ, only the atonement of Jesus Christ can purify their hearts. They can do all that we can, but True purification comes through the blood of Jesus Christ. For we believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of who created heaven and earth and all things, who shall come down among the children of men. Acknowledging doesn't mean condone. Let's not confuse it too. It doesn't mean you condone your bad behaviors. Because these people felt bad for the bad things they did. They had a desire to want to change. A saint is someone who understands this. A saint is someone who's, who understands that they are not perfect. Who understands that they are they are bad people because the more a man draws closer to God, the more he sees clearly his own imperfections. A saint is someone who understands that they need Jesus Christ to help them to be purified. They cannot do it of themselves. That's why they worship him. That's why they exercise faith in him. A true saint does make mistakes. A true saint does fall. But when he falls, he takes accountability that it is my fault and they feel bad for it and they work hard to try to change it but they understand that only through Jesus Christ can true forgiveness and true purification take place to be a saint you don't have to be perfect but you need to try all that you can you need to acknowledge all your shortfalls and feel bad for them and commit to trying to change and look to Jesus Christ to help you to be better